Okay, let's get going with his arms. So most traditional snowmen, they usually just use tree branches for their arms. So we'll do that version. But then there's another way to do his arms that I was thinking of doing that I'll do in another video. So let's first try the tree arms first. Okay, so we'll go to the community objects. <clears throat> now there's some tree branch objects here. You just have to find them. And there we go. We got the tree branch here. Okay. And it gives you some controls. It's not it's not great, but it'll work for what we need. So we can drop down the angle. Okay, trunk length we can drop down. <clears throat> Shadow the depth a little bit. Yeah, just about like that. Maybe just a little more. No, like that'll be good. Okay. Now we're just gonna Okay, now we're just gonna move it over. <clears throat> I'm gonna rotate it up. Actually, okay, we're gonna we're gonna rotate it, and then we're gonna rotate it again. Just slide this in. Uh, move it over. Might help. <laughs> A little too far in. And then let's just rotate it down on the outside dial. And just slide it down. Okay. Move that over. Okay. And we can do the same on the other side. We'll just duplicate it, edit, duplicate. And we'll just slide it over to the other side. A little smaller. Let's just rotate it 180 degrees. So go here inside dial. There we go. And we'll just rotate a little bit. And just move it down. There. Make it a little more interesting. You can select the tree branch, duplicate it, and we can rotate it a little bit. No, nope, not exactly what I wanted. So let's just. Eat. So we'll just take the plane and we're going to put it right here on the tree branch. Okay. Then edit. We're going to duplicate it. Okay. And then we're going to rotate it.
So something else we can do, we can just drag a tree branch on here, bring down the depth. Okay. And then we can duplicate it, edit, duplicate, and then rotate like that. And then we can, we can play around with the angle. We can drop the trunk length, the depth a little more or less. And then you can play around to the way you like it the most. And then group it. And you have a little more interesting branch instead of this one that's pretty flat. And then uh, just put in the place. 90 degrees, get rid of this one. Rotate this one. And just move it in. Okay, so not that great. I'm not a big fan of the stick branch thing. Just wanted to show you the option. Probably should shrink it down a little bit. So yeah, fortunately Tinkercad's tools aren't great for things like tree branches and stuff. So anyway, so that's one way to do it. Um, I think we can do better and I will be showing how to do that in the next video. See you then. Thanks for watching and if you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.